everyone, it's Amber and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm continuing on with my really fun Christmas in July series and this project just might be my favorite one of them all. I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm calling this a Christmas planner and I'm using this adorable whimsical paper right here. It's by Doodlebug. Here's the collection. It's called Christmas Magic. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited to show you this project. I cannot wait to show you this paper. It's so pretty and it's still available, I believe. So I'll link everything below so you can go over and get it if you want it. And this is the stuff that I'm using. I'm gonna take you through it. It's so easy and we're gonna make the cutest little Christmas planner. So the materials you're going to need for this project is this traveler's notebook insert and I bought a bunch of these from Amazon and this is approximately four and a half by eight and a quarter so it's like a standard traveler's notebook size I believe and I love working with this so it's got the lined paper perfect for doing your Christmas lists and things like that and for the pattern paper you will need four pieces that measure eight by four and one quarter so here's the four that I chose. And these are for the covers and the inside covers. And these are also double-sided. I think they're so adorable. This paper is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then you're gonna need five pieces that measure eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. So these are the five I chose. Aren't they adorable? There's the back. And those are for some decorative pages on the inside that we're gonna do. And we're gonna make something really cute with this to go in our planner. And this needs to measure nine by nine. It doesn't have to be double-sided. None of this has to be double-sided. And then last, you need five pieces that measure four and a quarter by three. So that's these cute little pieces here. So five pieces that measure four and a quarter by three. And this entire project was inspired by this cut apart page from that collection that had these four like Christmas list embellishments. So all I want for Christmas, Dear Santa, shopping list, and a December calendar. So these were the inspiration for this project and these were also on there so I decided to pull those as well. And you'll see what I'm going to do with all this. It's going to be super cute. And then last, you're going to need just some ribbon or seam binding or twine. And I'll show you where we're going to use this. This is some pink gingham. And that's it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab the pieces that measure eight by four and a quarter. And these are for the covers and the inside covers. And what I did is I rounded the corners because these have rounded corners on the notebook. So... I rounded the two right corners with my small um, side of the We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. Love this tool. So I just took this and rounded the corners. So this one's already done. Actually, I did it on all of them already. And that way, when you put this on the cover, there's going to be like an even border all the way around from the notebook. And then these two have the rounded corners, so they'll match up. I'm going to start with the inside covers. Um, and we're going to do the outside covers last. So for this first page, I'm going to be using this stripe piece here. I think it's so cute. And I'm just going to add my adhesive. So get it all the way almost to the edge, but not over the edge because you don't want it to stick to the next page. So just be careful that you get it almost to the edge, but not all the way. And... Then I'm just going to take this and remember to have your rounded two corners meet the two corners here. And this is going to have a 1 8 inch border all the way around. So just make sure that you glue it on evenly. And it fits perfectly. It looks so cute. And just press it down. Go ahead and burnish it with your bone folder. Make sure it's all pressed down. So we have that inside cover done. And then just go to your back inside cover and for that is this beautiful piece right here I think it's so pretty and I'm gonna add that right there so 
so we got our back inside cover and this cover all done. So next I'm going to bring in my five pieces that measure eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I, what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to take one of the line pieces and I'm going to adhere it right to it. So this is not going to have a border. You're going to actually meet these two rounded corners up with each other. So what this is going to do is it's going to line up top, bottom, and right edge, and it's going to leave a little bit of a gap over here. Because I don't want to obstruct where it folds, because I don't want it to like stay open like this. I want it to be able to close nice and clean, and nothing be in the way. So I, it's all about just choosing where you want these, and I'm just going to do it in five random pages. So I love this page. It's so pretty, but I want to see which one goes best. Oh, that's so cute. Now that we have where those are going to go, just go to your first page. And I like to set something heavy right here to keep that out of the way. So I'm just going to take my first page and add the adhesive. You can do this with any size notebook you have. If you have like an old journal that you haven't written in yet, just measure the pages. Um, cut some paper for some of the inside pages. You can do stamping, add stickers, do whatever you want. So here's our first page and again I'm going to I'm going to line up the two rounded corners with the rounded corners on the line paper. So I'm just going to make sure I get that part straight in and just continue up to line it up with that side. So it should be pretty even once you have it down. Just really, really burnish that left side so it doesn't come up. And then carefully do your edges. Okay. It looks great. We got the first page done. Let's find where I put the second one. Okay, same thing. Just go ahead and add your adhesive. Okay, so here's what we have so far. We have the cute, we have the front cover on the inside covered, our first page here. Then we have all these lined pages and then another decorative page here and then more lined pages there. Another cute page, some more lined papers and then this adorable page. More lined papers and our last covered page here and then of course more blank pages and then our inside back cover so this little planner is coming along it's super cute so I'm sure you guess what we're gonna be doing with these it's gonna be super cute I'm going to take some wet glue and glue these down on each of our decorative inside pages. So let me find my wet glue. 
Okay, so I'm going to take my little precision bottles, and I have these linked below, and just kind of match these up wherever they look good. What you do is you just take it. I've done these on my channel, like in seriously every single video, <laughs> just about. And you do a thin bead of glue down the two sides, and then on the bottom. And the reason I don't use the tape runner for this is because if I put things in the pocket, I don't want it to stick. Not to mention that um, you should round this bottom right corner to match up with the edge. And you saw me um, gluing this down. So all you do is the two sides and the bottom with the wet glue. And I'm going to take the rest of these and just round that corner. And round the bottom right corner. Just to match up with the corner on here. had to cut a couple more pockets because I glued them on the wrong way and they all got messed up so I had to make a couple more so you'll see them in a minute but this is what they look like these are cute little pockets on the decorative pages and you can fit goodies inside there so there's that pocket then we have this one this one and that one was that all five of them? Oh wait, I think I missed the Santa Claus one. And then this cute one here. So now all those pages have pockets and we're gonna put some stuff in there in just a minute, but I'm gonna set this aside so I can show you what we're gonna make with that nine by nine piece. It's gonna be so this is gonna become our cute little envelope that we're gonna put in there for receipts or notes or little secret lists or whatever we need for our Christmas planner. So this is what you're gonna do. Put it in and it's nine by nine, so it's perfect square. And just score this at three inches. Oh, and by the way, if you have like an image on your paper, top is at the top, bottom is at the bottom. That's how you're gonna put it in there. So your image is right side up. And then you are going to score this at seven inches. So we scored at three inches and seven inches. Then you're going to turn it to where the bottom of your image or your page is at the left side. And you're going to score this at one inch and eight inches. So again, that score line was one inch and eight inches. We have our score lines here, here. And then we've got our one inch score lines on the top and bottom. So we're gonna make some cuts here. Uh, the first ones you're gonna do are down here. So you have this panel, this panel, and this panel. You're gonna cut this one and this one out. So this is the top, this is the bottom. So I'm just gonna do it on this side so you can see it better. So this is where the score line is, it's right here. You're actually gonna go a little bit above it at an angle, just a little angle and meet that corner. Then you're gonna turn it this way, and you're gonna come on the other side of this score line right here, and meet it at an angle like that. So this is how it's gonna look when you cut that out. So let's do this side. So you're gonna come a little bit at an angle, and meet that corner right there where the score lines meet. Then turn it this way, and meet this one at a corner, at, the, at an angle. So that's how the bottom looks. So now let's do the top, and you're going to do the top the exact same way. So this is our little template for our coin envelope, or whatever you want to call it. So I want this cute deer side to show, so I'm actually going to be closing it up like this, so this is the outside. So what I like to do is just add my adhesive right along that line. So I'm just going to add a couple strips of adhesive right here. And I like to kind of layer them on top of each other. So then just bring this side in and close it with that adhesive. And then this is the bottom, so all you need to do is just seal up this bottom flap. So just add my adhesive 
Don't get it too far to the score line because you do have a little gap right here and you don't want it to get stuck. So just do like two strips from the bottom and then just seal that up. I think it looks so cute and it was so easy. So many of these with your scrapbook paper, they look so cute. And now here's your cute little coin envelope. Double sided and it looks so good, but I'm gonna stick this aside for now. Now let's work on the front covers. So first thing we're gonna do is measure some ribbon because this is gonna be our cute little closure. So I'm gonna measure it to see how long I want the tails to be. And I'll take my scissors. And I'm gonna make it a little longer than it needs to be, just in case. And just keep it under your notebook and just take a strip of adhesive, eyeball the middle, and that's where you're gonna lay down the ribbon. So I'm gonna lay this ribbon down right on top of that adhesive. Okay, so now the front is all glued down. And you're just gonna turn to the back and do the same thing. Lay some adhesive down. This is just to kind of keep it in place but you're gonna be adhering paper over it so it's gonna stay. Okay, so there's the back. Now we have our ribbon all attached. I'm just gonna take the page that you had for your front cover and go ahead and add it. So remember the cover and the back cover, they're gonna have a border all the way around about an eighth of an inch. So you're gluing it on here straight, as straight as you can. Okay, and you're going to want to take your bone folder for this one and get those edges all adhered down really well, especially along this little folded edge. And right there, and then of course the middle. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? This paper is adorable. I love the non-traditional colors in this, it's so whimsical. these pockets I thought these would look super cute right inside there so I'm just gonna choose one for each pocket and they fit perfectly I love that these are like tall and skinny just like the notebook I think these are so adorable so I think they look really really cute so there's only four of them, so I think I'm gonna put these cute things in here, the naughty and nice journaling cards. And I just think, and then this one can go in here. And then of course for the Santa one, we're gonna do the Dear Santa. And these can be used for lists, for planning, anything. And then the shopping list. This would be such a fun gift to give to somebody like right after Thanksgiving um, for like a little hostess gift or something. I host a Christmas tea every year and that would be the cutest little thing to hand out to your guests as a little favor that you handmade. Okay, so now I wanna show you what we're gonna be doing with this envelope. So in the middle of the planner, I also have this cute thing over here. I thought it would be fun to put a receipts envelope. I'm gonna tuck it in here, kind of leave it like this, and then actually glue this down to the page. So that way when you get receipts and stuff, they can be stuck in here and they'll be nice and safe and you can put your receipts in there for your Christmas gifts. So I'm going to take my adhesive and just glue it down. At first I didn't want to glue this down, I was just gonna clip it in, but then I thought, no, this needs to be nice and compact, be able to throw it in your purse. We don't want anything falling out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, my little runner ran out of adhesive and I'm bringing these in. I got these from Amazon 
and I'm not really sure how I feel about them yet. I don't like them as much as the scrapbook.com ones, but these ones are the acid-free, you know, double-sided adhesive permanent tape. So I, they don't run as smooth, but they get the job done. So they're kind of more loud, but they're actually growing on me and I love that they're the cute pink color. So I'll link these below also. So I'm just gonna glue this in here. And you know what you can do with this. You can do that um, trick where you punch out two circles, you put one right here with like a brad, and then you put one on the flap with the brad, and then you kind of figure eight the twine to close it. You can always do that, um, but I chose not to do it on this one. And I might decorate this a little bit or, you know, write receipts on there. I don't know. Or put stickers on here that spell receipts. Who knows? But I just think that's so cool how there's a pocket in there. And you can fit all kinds of receipts in there. But let's work on this front cover. I just simply embellish the front cover and you know what you guys I do like this I like this tape runner so I'm gonna link these below so you can go and try them but I think that looks so cute look at that oh my goodness so you've got this instant closure right here with the gingham ribbon and it looks just so pretty I love this ribbon it's so easy to work with I got it at Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna trim these little edges And I think our planner looks so good. Let's do a full flip through. So I did very simple embellishing on the cover because I want this to be able to be thrown in my bag, my tote, or my, you know, my purse to go to the store. Anytime I get a gift, I can just check it off or throw my receipts in here. So that's why I didn't do anything dimensional. I was going to add these beautiful enamel dots but I didn't think that that would go good in my purse. So I'm gonna leave those off, but you guys can decorate this up as much as you want, especially if you're making it for a gift. Okay, so let's check this out. So here is our first little spread. This would be such a fun idea to put like a library pocket right here. I have those Target clear pockets. Ooh, I could just stick. I have these Target clear pockets that I call them. And they're just like adhesive clear pockets. I think I'm gonna adhere one right now to the front cover here. Put it a little bit down. And now you can still see the beautiful paper, but all kinds of goodies will fit in there now. So if you wanted to gift this to somebody, you could put the enamel dots in there and they could decorate. So here's our first little pocket with this beautiful journaling card, but actually it's the month of December, so you can do your planning, check off your little boxes, put more goodies in that pocket. And then here's the pages you can stamp on or put stickers in the corners and still have plenty of room to plan for Christmas. And it's never too early to start planning for Christmas. I, I just say that every year and then I'm always rushing around last minute. But here's another pocket with some journaling cards and they are double-sided. I love these. They're so cute. So I'm going to stick those right back in there. And then here's more paper. Here's a really cute page. And this one is another countdown to Christmas. So you can stick anything in these pockets, whatever you come up with. Okay, so here's our center. This is the center of the planner. And over here we have this deep pocket for like receipts and all kinds of stuff, memorabilia, whatever. Um, and you can mass produce these cute envelopes. Oh my gosh, I love making them. 
And then we have this Dear Santa page. You can have your kids write their lists on here. Do whatever you want with that. More paper for planning. And then your shopping list. And of course the back cover, which guess what I'm gonna be putting here? Another Target pocket. So I just absolutely love this project. It's so cute. I'm gonna take another one of these. I have so many of these because I was obsessed with them when Target first um, put them out and then now every time I see them I just grab some. You can put these in junk journals and whatever you want. And so in this pocket, I'll stick these little enamel dots that I can decorate with. So I think I'll just do this one. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. And then we're just going to close it on up and tie our ribbon closure. This feels so good in the hands. I love making these. They go super quick. You can use up your gorgeous paper, mass produce. I'm probably going to order some more of these notebooks. So that way I have plenty on hand. So you can use these for your traveler's notebook inserts and they're so easy. Do you see how easy that was to create? I absolutely love this project. This is one of my favorite projects ever. I just think it's so fun and satisfying and simple. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and for watching the tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you'll give it a try yourself. These are so fun. I'm gonna have all these products linked below so you can just click on them and go get them for your Christmas projects. I still have some fun Christmas in July projects coming up, lined up for you, and I cannot wait for you to see them. So thank you again for watching everybody, and I'll see you in the next Christmas in July video.